This little top is called the Weekender Fun, Simple, Easy, Great. Let's have some fun. I am up early and having way too much fun in my sewing room. So let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm using 117 and that's the cut up tee because I saw this shirt and it's just perfect for this cut up tee. Um, then there's just a couple changes. So it, we're calling it the weekender because I have to go somewhere this weekend and I needed a new shirt. And I use that term loosely because needed is really not in my vocabulary, but I wanted a new shirt. How's about that? So this is the cut up tee. I have, I've lowered the neckline, but I'm going to show you how to do that. But here's the front. I've, I've sewn it all. And there's a reason I've sewn it all. I'm going to show you here in a minute. Is that back too cute? So the stripe goes this way, this way, this way, and then this way. And all you do, and it has it all in the directions, you just follow the direction of the piece. So very easy to do, but just really fun. And then of course the way it's constructed, it's done in a manner that's, uh, my stand is really, it's done in a manner, manner that's overlapping. So the pieces, the, it's nothing set in, it's just overlapped. It's just a lot of fun. Okay, so anyway, having said all that, we're going to do a couple of additional things. The first thing I did is I lowered the neckline. So the neckline on this cut up tee, this is the front piece. The neckline goes from, it goes from 17 to 23 on the French curve. The French curve kind of lays down like this. So 17 is at center front, 23 is up here at the shoulder. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to go from 13 at the shoulder and 23 at center front because what I want is this nice deep line. So what I've done is I've cut away this much more. So you can see it's, it's a quite a bit. What I did is I went in my wardrobe and I looked at lower tops that I wore, not too low obviously, but that 13 to 23, I loved it. It worked on me. You'll see it on me here in a second. And so that's what I did, I, I lowered it. So the reason I did that is because I've made these tubes and I cut two pieces, you know, whenever you're working with this knit, and I, I love this knit, you wanna work with the way that's gonna stretch the most or that's gonna make the tubes. And I know I've talked about this before, one way it'll make these great tubes, the other way it won't. So the other reason I use this is because, this pattern is because on the shirt I saw, it had this rough, look to it. I like that. And so when this neck piece is done, when you lower the neckline, you're making it, it longer. So this neck piece is a pattern piece. So when I changed it from the original to the new, I added four inches and that's on each side. So when I cut this piece, I added eight inches to it and then I cut it on a bias so it would give this fun little diagonal look to it. And I know stripes sometimes on camera, I, you know, they always tell us on camera never to wear stripes because they're all blurred, but it's just so cute in stripes, I wanted you to see it. And I did it in stripes anyway. All right, so that's the neckline. So lower it, I did 13 to 23 at center front, and then cut the neckband eight inches longer. Okay, and again, you can use your numbers. Those are my numbers. They, they may be too low for you. Okay, so then I took, um, the stripe and I took it where it stretched the most and I made I cut mine one inch wide by 20 inches long and then I stretched it so you can see by the time I'm stretching it it's like it, it could be a long amount but if I just let it relax it stretches to about 24. So what you're going to do is you're going to come in and you're going to secure these right at the shoulder seam and I haven't I, I finished with the whole shirt well I mean there's two thing two more things I'm going to do so I'm going to secure both of these at the shoulder seam, or right about at the shoulder seam. Obviously it doesn't have to be exact. And the way I'm going to secure them is I'm just going to stitch them inside the band, um, inside the neck band, and just stitch them in place. Just literally right through the band, just top stitch them. Okay, so then what they were is they were crossed like that. And we've, there's a lot of these out there. They're really cute. They're little neck pieces almost. And you can do anything you want. You can cross it once. You can cross it twice. Gosh, keep going. You, you know, you can just do it as many times as you want. But this particular one that I saw, I really liked it. And it was just 
crossed over like that, and then it's secured again to the inside of the band somewhere in the lower part of the neckline, and then over here to the lower part of the neckline. Don't pull, you don't want it too tight, but you don't want it too loose that it won't be where it's supposed to be. Okay, now again, I'm gonna go to the inside. I did see a couple that left it on and they, they left this thing hanging. I, I don't really care for that. But again, we can do so many different things with this twist, it's kind of fun. If I wanted to, I could put a little bead on there. I could put some kind of little neck piece. I think that would be cute too. But then I'm gonna cut these off here. And I'm gonna cut this one off here. And then I'm gonna go secure that on the sewing machine. All right, the other thing, this top hat, and it was just simple, and then just these few added things were just amazing. It had the sleeves turned into fringe. So because it has stripes already in it, I'm gonna cut up and I'm gonna cut up. What I did is I made, this is not a long sleeve. I made it a three quarter sleeve to begin with. And when I start cutting, I'm gonna cut up about six inches and I'm gonna cut right at the point of the seam to start with. It was, you know, when I sewed it, I'm gonna cut right at that point of the seam to start with. And that way I won't have to worry about that as I go around. And each little section here, I'm cutting up the same amount. You certainly could cut them different amounts up and, and I'm cutting an inch wide. And so the bottom of the sleeves are gonna be fringed. So it makes sense that you don't want to make these full length and then fringe them because they get to be too long. So that's why the three fours. And always, if in doubt, you guys, you can always cut them off, but what you can't do is make them longer. So I would go ahead and make them longer, thinking then that you could make them shorter. All right, and then each one, obviously, you just pull. So originally in the fabric, with this particular fabric, it's the way of the stripe that does the best. So I'm just gonna do this all the way around and cut up to that point. And I actually think that as the cuts are jagged, they're a little better. So don't think you have to cut straight or even or any of those things, just cut. And I do think even different lengths up here at the top or different heights or you know, stopping at different points, I think would be really cute. And I'm doing this so you can see it. It'd be much easier to do this on a table where your pattern was actually laying flat rather than in midair. I think I'm the queen of doing things the hardest thing, the hardest way possible sometimes. All right, so I just want to get, show you what this will look like completely done, and then I'll do the other one, and then I'm going to put it on. I'm going to go sew that neck piece and put it on. Okay, so just pull each one of those. When you pull, just hold the top just by chance if you've cut it. Like I said, mine are about, well, mine are about a half inch wide. I said an inch, but they're about a half inch wide. Just hold it at the top so that you don't completely pull it out. Not that you would, but I would just hold it there. And so the goal is to have these little tubes and they duplicate the little tubes up there at the neckline and they're just cute. So you've got great interest at the neckline, great interest at the sleeves, and then you've got all the fun of the back. All right, there's my sleeves. And again, if you decide you want to cut them off, you can. I, I'm going to put them on and determine if they're too long. You don't want them to get in the way. I think that's the one thing. So there you go. This is called the Weekender, and I'll go finish it up and put it back on. Again, I want to show you the back because I love these stripes in the back. So recognize that the, and the, it's all done like this in the pattern, but it's just so cute. This one's going this way, this one's lengthwise, this one's diagonal this way, and then this one's extreme. And so by the time you come back into the side, you can see that um, the, the, all of these angles are going different ways. And by the time you come into this side, same thing. These are actually meeting because these two pieces are both done the same way. 
I just love this shirt. Love it, love it, love it. So lower a neckline, fringe it a little bit, and you've got a great weekender. I'm just going to put it with some um, navy leggings or jean leggings or black. I don't know. I'll figure that out. All right. So we'll be back in a minute and I'll show it on. All right. Be right back. So here we have it. It's all done. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's just like I wanted. A little contemporary top. I put it on with some black leggings and I'm ready for the weekend. So I hope you love it. A couple tips. Um, this is, this will move just, so I actually just tacked it. I just put a little stitch right there so that it would stay in place where I wanted it to. I mean, it's not a big deal, but just to let you know. When you do this, you want to start higher up in this area and go lower so it looks almost like a v-neck. Notice that from center front, I'm only like an inch out on each side, so it's very low. Initially, I had a little wider, and I, I didn't like it once I put it on. And then with these slits, do them different lengths so that they kind of have a, a cascading effect rather than a horizontal look. You could even go higher than what I did. But the most important thing is to have fun. So happy sewing for the weekender from Silhouette Patterns.